skill, integrity, and responsibility. Sir Award winners are the men, women, and organizations that have made outstanding contributions to our community, state, quality of life, and the construction industry. Originating with the Nevada chapter in 1967, the Sir Award was adopted by AGC chapters nationwide, including the National Office in Washington, D.C. National Award winners include Presidents Ronald Reagan and Gerald Ford, along with educators, humanitarians, construction leaders, and many unsung heroes. Today's winners will join last year's Sir recipients, Donald Trump, Mark Amaday, and Roy Walker. And now, the Sir Award. He's got a passion for what he's doing. He was one of the main figures that really put UNR on the map. He'll pull it out of you and make, so, make it so that you found out the answer because he knew that you had it in you, and that really made him a good mentor. He made class very easy to understand. He made the criteria very uh, simplistic. I graduated with my civil engineering degree from the University of Nevada, Reno, but thank God I never had my dad as a professor. I don't, it was hard enough being the dean's daughter. So. Educator, mentor, community collaborator, and visionary. Dean Manos Maragakis has created a world-class engineering college at the University of Nevada, Reno, built on a foundation of strict academics with an eye toward the global marketplace. Dr. Maragakis has been instrumental to UNR. The biggest, I think, accomplishment that Dr. Maragakis has done is put that engineering school on a map. Since 2008, he's doubled the College of Engineering in the way of students. He's also, in the, in the graduate program, 50% greater. The engineering department used to be the best kept secret in town. I think he had a vision for the College of Engineering that was, I'm sure if someone had said it years ago, they would have thought he was crazy. We've seen the growth in the university has been phenomenal. And so uh, the College of Engineering is the number one college with the most growth. And I think it's through his hard work, his willingness to do the research, his willingness to go out and get grants, uh, he's been so instrumental in that. This Greek immigrant, with close family support from parents Demetra and Antonis, earned a spot at the National Technical University of Athens with the nation's highest entrance exam score. It was not long after that he came to the United States to teach and earn a PhD at Caltech. He landed on the shores of Reno in 1984, firmly establishing himself as a prolific researcher and exacting instructor. He made so many of the initiatives that really tailored to success of the students. He knows the engineering academia left and right. And he's stern about that. And he's stern about studies and he's stern about the college. But he's also such an approachable man. And once he starts joking with you and you back and forth do a little bit of bantering, you really realize that this is more of a mentorship. I can tell you something about him that he has no patience if he sees that somebody mediocre. It's, you know, manos with manos, everything needs to be right. You want to go into something knowing that you are correct in everything, you, the information you're presenting. He had his glasses kind of at the end of his nose. He looked up at me and he says, I don't make mistakes. Through that stern exterior, manos displays a sense of fun. From long distance running to cooking for the Greek church and friends, while approaching life from an engineer's point of view. He's a nerd, which I think you could tell from his papers that he's done, but I remember in the summer, he would, we would all go to Greece every summer, and he would give us math books to do. Outside the classroom, he's really fun to be around. He's very thorough, like when he bought his new car, I remember at night he would read like 20 pages of the manual, and then he's like, okay, time to go actually implement it and see how it works. Why I care for the man so much? He's Greek, he comes from Greece. That scientific approach and unending drive has helped put the university's College of Engineering on the world map, 
creating the nation's largest earthquake seismic engineering facility, along with programs addressing nanotechnology, biomedicine, and driverless vehicles. I don't know how he has time for it, but he's never compromised either family life or work. He has managed to put 100% effort into both. I don't know how, and I think he has also put his heart and soul into the university. He has some great professors, brings in some great people, which I think is, is really helpful to our local area here. Fortitude in, and belief in the, what the engineering school is all about. The Dean has made the community connections that translate to economic growth and the mindfulness that the construction industry needs the timeless skills and modern approaches required for today's civil engineer. So Manos worked so hard with the AGC, with the AGC leadership, and to be able to have courses in the curriculum that will fit the needs of, of the construction industry. And he's very in tune to making sure the students that come out of University of Nevada, Reno, College of Engineering are gonna be able to get jobs. You have this gentleman, professor, doctor, with you for two years in and out of all his classes and it sticks with you through through life. Even though I'm not a student anymore at UNR and I'm out on the job site and in the in the field, I still have Manos in the background and he's he's in my ear telling me, make sure all your facts are straight, make sure you're double checking your answers and make sure you know everything before you present it. Through his skills, the doctor has positively affected thousands of professionals nationally and internationally. Educator and visionary, exuding skill, integrity, and responsibility, Dean Emmanuel Manos Maragakis, the Sir Award.